Oh. Oh, you need a hair play? Nope. Okay. It's not connected on this end. Not yet. Okay. There we go. Well, in a moment. As you all have seen, this is a developer environment. <laughs> what we discovered in analyzing the capabilities of this is that um, it is, of course, another input into your uh, view of the universe. And in games, we thought we would look at the idea of a first-person shooter. One of the things that happens in games is that you are constantly uh, trying to get energy out of environment. Well, heat, of course, is the form of energy. And so the concept of the game was fairly straightforward. We thought it would be a good idea for us to have a thermomancer, someone who could fight, see the heat, and then we would be able to touch points on the screen and absorb the heat out of it. Now, we simulate, we, uh, we did some simple versions of this to show it, but in a uh, version that would be in an app store, it would draw the energy forward, it would have better effects. We would have monsters in the background coming at you, such as our flaming skull, and we would have fireballs that you would shoot once you tapped enough en energy from your environment. So what we've done here is we have these gray <coughs> circles that are the example of when you're sucking the energy out, the, the uh, heat, of course, is showing lesser and lesser. And this will give you, a, so for the point of view of what it does to, um, say, a teenager or uh, someone in the STEM world, they would be able to see how drawing the energy out and then using, repositioning the energy as a weapon is characteristic, of course, of many games, but it, it's also directly analogous to the real world. Okay. And then tell us a little bit more about the kind of the background of the game, the backdrop of the game. So you, I think we get a good feel for what you know what the user interface is okay. like. Okay, in, in this particular version, of course, we're using the sim the uh, one that comes with it, but uh, very simply, it's real world. Okay. And you would be seeing the real world, and the and you would then, you know, you would scan around, and then suddenly a monster would pop up. And as soon as the monster pop up, then you have to start dragging energy out of the environment so that your thermometer goes up, so that, to the point that you have a full range of uh, energy, and then you start shooting the thermal blasts right. at the at the at the monsters until you die. <laughs> Uh, there we had a, a couple of different kinds of monsters. We also had uh, sound effects and all the stuff planned, but of course we didn't have enough time to really implement. But the design would have you'd have uh, in, in a first-person shooter, you'd have stuff coming at you. You have things going across the screen, mm -hmm. so you have different types of uh, blast points, and quite honestly, it's just a lot of fun. Sure. Sure. So would the game then have skill levels that you accumulate over time as you kill more monsters, or is it just kind of a, a passing yes. time kind of thing? Yeah, no, the, it, it, it has the ability to be both casual um, gameplay mm -hmm. as well as the uh, mid-range of, of, of core gaming. Okay. But it also has the ability uh, to be a person-to-person uh, uh, -person competitive game. Okay. So that if you had two people who had the devices and the and the games loaded, you could actually be shooting at each other. Multiplayer mode. Sweet. And you're do, what you're doing is you're absorbing heat from the environment and shooting, blasting each other. And of course, it would use the um, the outlying process of uh, the um, NSX and uh, to give the a better feeling about the world around you. Sure. Sure. That's good creativity. Good job. Great. Good job. Yeah, Did you guys have thanks. questions? That's cool. Great. That is, that's very cool. Good job, guys. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. That's okay. Thank you. If you want.